Hi, Catherine. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> it's super nice to meet you. Great to meet you too. Very happy to be here. Awesome. So can you tell us a, a bit about yourself? Sure. Um, so I am a professional photographer based in Toronto, and I've been in business for over 25 years now. Um, and I started off in commercial photography, but over, over those 25 plus years, landed in a focus mostly on photographing people for kind of any kind of business branding and marketing communications purposes could be anything from authors to executives to staff, really any people involved in whatever organization or business needs to have marketing imagery. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting progression from, uh, you know, through your career. Yeah. Well, it, you know, it was, it was partly just because of, it, it was partly due to changes within our industry. Whoops. I just flicked my scarf. That was hilarious. Um, you know, when I started, we mm -hmm. shot film. It was an entirely different world. And there was no stock photography when I started, no digital photography. And those those things really, really changed the marketplace. And so there was a lot of a lot of pivoting required over the years. Mm -hmm. And also, sorry, and I was just gonna say, and also, you know, it was also a matter of just kind of finding finding that place within the realm of professional photography that was the best fit for sort of my personality and skills. Wonderful. Things always shift as we go along, right? In our business. Mm -hmm. so what's an achievement you're particularly proud of? Well, so actually one of the things I'm really most proud of is just staying in business for this long because mm -hmm. those changes when they happened, you know, they were, they were pretty excruciating for a lot of photographers and some, some people left the industry and uh, Lord knows I, I considered doing that myself. Um, but, and I ended up shooting everything from weddings to pet portraits, to food, to, you know, mm -hmm. um, and I even did some acting in TV commercials. So very long winding path. And as I say, lot, lots of pivoting, but I, you know, I kind of used the, you know, the famous quote from Galaxy Quest, never give up, never surrender, was kind of my motto. And, you know, I didn't know how to do anything else. And I had put way more than my 10,000 hours into becoming an expert. And so, you know, I stuck with it. And I got to, photo. I've, you know, I've photographed some really interesting people. I mean, everybody that I meet that I photograph is interesting, it's fun to be able to say that I photographed some notable individuals like Hazel McCallion and some of the dragons and mm -hmm. Bruce McCullough, people like that. That's sort of fun, you know, to be able to say that I've met those people. And um, what else? The other thing I'm really proud of is that I work a lot with people who really hate having their picture taken and they're kind of dreading the entire experience. And I love that a lot of the time, people say to me when it's over that they actually enjoyed it and they love the result and they're, and they're so surprised that something they thought was going to kind of be awful turned out to be kind of the most enjoyable part of their day. And they have something that's going to last for a while and serve them really well. That's great. <laughs> so what's one piece of advice that uh, you could offer others who would like to follow in your, in your steps? I think that the most important thing I can suggest is just to be aware that not just in the field of photography, I think in, in, in many fields, creative fields, mm -hmm. it's, it's more about your acumen as a business person than it really is about your skill and creativity and excellence as a photographer. It's, it's at least as important, if not more important, that you're good at business. And the other thing I wanted to say, I made a little note here for myself, so I wouldn't forget, um, wouldn't forget this. And now I've lost where it is. Um, but what it was was just about communication. And sorry, now I'm now I'm scrambling because where did I put that little note? Sorry, little little blip here. Actually, the actually what I wanted to say mostly was make sure that you have confidence in your product. 
Mm-hmm. That was my other piece of advice, which in, in the case of a photographer is going to be both you and your product, because it's incredibly hard to sell a product that you don't believe in. Yes, that's absolutely true. I I, I do know that from being in sales for years. So <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Um, so uh, what really kept you feeling driven and motivated during those you know harder parts of your entrepreneurship? Well, I think for me, it was just, I sort of said it before it was, you know, I, I've definitely put way more than the 10,000 hours into becoming an expert. And honestly, I, there's always one more picture to take one more interesting person to meet. And I always feel like my best photo is still waiting to be taken. So, you know, it's not about being an entrepreneur, which I never really wanted to be in the first place. It's more about creating work that I can really be proud of and, and just, always doing better. Mm -hmm. Is that what made you uh, want to pursue your business in the first place? Uh, Well, actually, (laughs) when I, when I was deciding on a post-secondary education Mm -hmm. path, um, I knew I wanted to do something creative, but I wasn't, I couldn't draw fast enough to be a commercial artist or, or an illustrator or graphic designer. And so I thought, So I chose photography because I figured if you could get a degree in it, there must be a career path. But turns out that wasn't really true. And I figured that if other people could make a living doing it, then surely I could too. But it was only after I got my degree that I discovered most photographers were going to have to be business owners as well. So I was just very naive. I didn't, I didn't really look into what it would realistically mean to be a professional photographer. And I put all my eggs in that basket and then there was kind of no turning back. So that's how I, that's how I got into photography as a career. Yeah, Yeah, it is is challenging. It is challenging, uh, you know, not knowing uh, what to expect in an artistic, uh, I was an actor for a while, so that's why I'm saying this. (laughs) Yeah, okay, well, I can relate, yeah. We have that in common. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So, uh, you know, how would you like to see your business grow? Um, Well, the pandemic really set me back a lot because I work exclusively, or almost exclusively with people. I also photograph dogs, but way more, way more people than dogs. Mm -hmm. And so now really I'm, I'm rebuilding by just continuing to be out there. The only social media I use is LinkedIn, but on LinkedIn for the past six months, I've been posting one tip per week on how to get the most out of, how to prepare for and get the most out of your next professional portrait session. And that's gotten me a lot of visibility and referrals and the really sort of nice surprise and gratifying thing is that I'm getting referrals from people that I haven't worked with for 10 years, but I believe they're seeing me because of my engagement on LinkedIn there. And so I'm just building my way back up to the critical mass that I kind of had before the pandemic Mm -hmm. as people kind of come back, slowly come back to work. Wonderful. And that uh, that definitely that visibility and giving valuable tips. um, I think that's, uh, that's very smart. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So is there a message you'd like to share with uh, other women entrepreneurs? Um, Well, you know what, despite my being in business for this long, I don't really think that my forte is business. (laughs) It really, what my forte is, is making people look good. So um, I would just like to say that I think the world, the business world would work better if everyone just remembers to be kind and be respectful and communicate. And this, this is a specific thing with, within my business and others, but I know I want to suggest to the world that people opt for phone calls whenever they can, because you can accomplish so much in a phone call relative to what you can with sort of partially answered emails going back and forth. I know this sounds like a such a possibly random, weird micro thing to suggest to people, but it's something I notice in my business all the time. And I would just really implore people to pick up the phone you just can get, you know, again, I know it's, I'm I'm thinking of specific things, you know, when I saw that this was going to be one of the questions, I thought about all the times, you know, photography, for example, there are just nuances to what you're going to do for any client. And I'm sure 
you know, many other women in business have this, right? There, there are just nuances and they can be discussed so much more efficiently. I just think you can get to the end of, you can get through a process so much more efficiently if you just pick up the phone. So pick up the phone, people. Mm -hmm. Pick up the phone. (laughs) (laughs) It's true though. You can get, uh, communication is there and the connection is there as well, right? Yeah. To a client or a customer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and you can just sort of discuss, you know, maybe things that are slightly complicated or that people don't understand about your business. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, how complicated can, can it be, you think, but there, there are things with, especially with any sort of creative in any creative field that maybe are just really hard to explain in an email. Mm -hmm. And whereas you could get the idea across, if you just sort of chat about it so much more quickly and, you know, in something like photography, where you're really trying to, it really is going to be all about the, you know, really the essence of the person that you're working with, you you know, trying to discuss that in an email is just so much less efficient and effective, I think. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree with with, with you there. Um, What made you uh, join or sign up for the Canadian Women's Chamber of Commerce? Well, I think, I think connecting with motivated women and, and, you know, and people who and identify as women, because they're kind of my tribe, you know, I mean, obviously I'm female and while I photograph all kinds of people, I, I have a real affinity for, and I particularly enjoy working with people that I can relate to and feel inspired by. Wonderful. So your area of expertise is uh, photographing people, business owners, um, and dogs. Tell me a bit about that. (laughs) Yeah. So, well, many years ago when there used to be a Dogs in Canada magazine, I used to shoot for them regularly and they are not really around anymore, at least not, not in the way that they were. So that, that went away, but for the last few years, I've been um, working with KMH uh, shooting their therapy dog calendar, oh. which they, yeah, which they do, uh, they've done for the last three or four years or something like that. And so, yeah, I've been so fortunate to get to work with them because it's obviously, you know, support supporting such a fantastic cause that I really believe in. And I get to work with all these amazing dogs. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> it is so much fun. Uh, yeah. So tell us how, um, how we can reach out to you. Uh, we'll have your information, of course, in the, um, in the notes, but uh, what's your favorite way? LinkedIn? Would that be the best way to? Um, well, LinkedIn email, you yeah. know, um, people, I always suggest people look at my website so that, that they can just get an idea of just the sort of variety and breadth of the work that I do. And, and feel comfortable about my experience and, and just the quality of the work, because, you know, the thing about photography is there are so many photographers in Toronto. If you Google, like Google business photographer in Toronto, you will get so many hits. And so I think it's really important that people have something that they can, you know, something to, uh, evidence mm-hmm. <laughs> evidence of the, I, i'm fumbling my words here i hope you cut this out <laughs> like a frame of reference right Just yeah exactly so that so that you see what you're getting kind of thing um but yeah so linkedin you know my my email address which i guess will be included here and yeah. yeah yeah and website and i have a couple of blogs um one of them ha- one of my blogs the make me pretty dot uh what is it um you know what it's uh, it's It'll be in the notes. It'll be in the notes. So we'll, yeah. everyone will look for that in the notes. I'm sure. Yeah. So all my, the, all the tips, the, the 30 plus tips for preparing for your next portrait are, are in that blog. Wonderful. That's very so useful. Like that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Catherine. Well, thank you, Stephanie. Thanks a lot. Pleasure. Pleasure.